hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet this airplane toy so to make this i have used single crochet stitches and made this body and wing separately and at the end stitch them together so before we start to make this airplane toy i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this airplane to make this you will need four colors of your choice here i am going to use this thin cotton thread from this brand this is size 10 cotton thread and for this cotton thread i am going to use crochet hook of size 1.6 mm you will need some fiber filling stitch marker needle and scissor so take your first color thread and make a ring here i am going to use a magic ring once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches So after 6 single crochets, if you are working on that magic ring, just pull this loose end of this ring to close. So round 1 is done and we have 6 stitches. Now in round number 2, take your hook on top of first single crochet and here we are going to make 2 single crochets. One. And one more in same stitch two place the marker on your first stitch so you get to know this is the starting of round number two so in round number two we are going to repeat this stitches top of each stitch we are going to make two two single crochet So like this make two two single crochets in remaining stitch and complete round number two round number two is done and we have 12 stitches now in round number three top of first stitch make one single crochet then on next stitch make two single crochets place the marker on your first stitch so in round number three we are going to repeat these stitches in next stitch make one single crochet then on next stitch two one two one two like this repeat these stitches and walk till your last stitch So when you work on your last single crochet of round number three here we are going to change the color so keep this two loop on your hook now take the second color thread for me it's a orange color so take that thread and pull from this two loop so by that the second color will come on your hook now just pull the first color thread and cut with some margin we are going to secure this two loose ends while working on these stitches so our round number three is done and we have 18 stitches now in round number four top of next two stitch make one one single crochet after two single crochet work on next stitch and here make two single crochets so 
so in round number 4 we are going to repeat these stitches in next two stitch make one one single crochet then on third stitch make two single crochet so one one two one one two like this repeat these stitches and walk till your last stitch So round number 4 is done and we have 24 stitches. Now in round number 5, top of each stitch from our previous round, we are going to make 1-1 one, one single crochet. So like this, make 1-1 one, one single crochet, top of each stitch and complete round number 5. So when you work on your last single crochet of round number 5, keep this two loop on your hook and here we are going to change the color from second to third. So take the third color thread, grab and pull from this two loop on your hook. So by that third color will come on your hook. Now just pull the second color thread and cut with some margin round number 5 is done and we have 24 stitches now in round number 6 top of next 1 2 and 3 stitches make 1 1 single crochet after 3 single crochet work on next stitch and here make 2 single crochets So in round number 6 we are going to repeat these stitches in next 3 stitch make 1 1 single crochet then on 4th stitch make 2 single crochet so like this repeat these stitches and work till your last stitch so round number 6 is done and we have 30 stitches now in round number 7 top of each stitch from round number 6 we are going to make 1-1 one, one single crochet So like this make one one single crochet in remaining stitches and complete round number seven round number seven is done and we have 30 stitches now in round number eight top of next four stitches make one one single crochet After 4 single crochet, work on next stitch and here make 2 single crochet. So in round number 8, we are going to repeat these stitches. In next 4 stitch, make 1 1 single crochet. Then on next stitch, make 2 single crochet. Like this, repeat these stitches and work till your last stitch. Round number 8 is done and we have 36 stitches. Now from round number 9 to 15 we are going to make 1-1 one, one single crochet top of each stitch. So total 7 rounds you have to make with 1-1 one, one single crochet. So like this make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so i'm done with my round number 15 and we have 36 stitches 
Now from round number 16 we are going to decrease the single crochet stitches. So first in next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. So after 4 single crochet now work in next 2 single crochets and here we are going to decrease 1 single crochet. So to do the decrease take the front loop of first single crochet then take the front loop of next single crochet. So like this you have 3 loop on your hook. Now grab this thread and pull from first 2 loop. Now you have 2 loop on your hook. Now grab the thread and pull from next two loop. So like this you have decreased one single crochet and got one stitch here. So we made four single crochet then one decrease like this in round number 16 we are going to repeat this stitches. In next four stitch make one one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease. So like this repeat this stitches make four one one single crochet in next four stitches then one decrease and work till your last stitch and complete round number 16. So round number 16 is done and we have 30 stitches. Now from round number 17 to 19 we are going to make one one single crochet. So total three rounds with one one single crochet. So round number 19 is done and we have 30 stitches. Now in round number 20, top of next 3 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. So after 3 single crochet, again work in next 2 stitch and here we are going to decrease 1 single crochet. So 3 single crochet then 1 decrease so in round number 20 we are going to repeat this stitches in next 3 stitch make 1 1 single crochet then work in next 2 stitch and make 1 decrease. So like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch. So round number 20 is done and we have 24 stitches. Now from round number 21 to 23 we are going to make 1 1 single crochet top of each stitch. So like this make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number 21, 22 and 23. Round number 23 is done and we have 24 stitches. Now at this point we are going to fill the gap with the fiber. Now in round number 24 work in next two stitches and make one one single crochet so after two single crochet work in next two stitch and make one decrease Now in round number 24 we are going to repeat this stitches. 
work in next two stitch and make one one single crochet then work in next two stitches and make one decrease so like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch So round number 24 is done and we have 18 stitches now uh, from round number 25 to 26 we are going to make one one single crochet So like this make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number 25 and 26 so round number 26 is done and we have 18 stitches now in round number 27 top of next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease And then next stitch one single crochet then the next two stitch make one decrease then round number 27 we are going to repeat this stitches make one single crochet one decrease one single crochet then one decrease like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch so round number 27 is done and we have 12 stitches again we are going to fill this tap with the fiber now in round number 28 we are going to make one one decrease in our remaining stitches so at the end of round number 28 you will have six stitches six stitches so to do the decrease take the hook like under that stitch grab and pull the thread then on next stitch grab and pull the thread so you will have three loop now grab the thread and pull from all three loop so we made one stitch and we have decreased one single crochet so like this you need to work in remaining stitches so at the end of round number 28 you will have six stitches So at the end we have six stitches now we are going to close this gap so take this thread in a needle and take the front loop of next stitch pull this needle and thread and take the front loop of next stitch pull this needle and thread so like this work in remaining stitches take the front loop pull the needle and thread and close this gap so we made the body of the airplane now we are going to make this side wings so here uh, to make the side wing I am going to use my first color which is red color so make a ring once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches
so round one is done and we have six stitches now in round number two take your hook on top of first single crochet and here we are going to make two single crochets one and one more in same stitch two place the marker on your first stitch so you get to know this is the starting of round number two so in round number two we are going to repeat this stitches top of each stitch we are going to make two two single crochets so like this make two two single crochets in remaining stitch and complete round number two so round number two is done and we have 12 stitches now in round number three top of next stitch make one single crochet then on next stitch make two single crochet So in round number three we are going to repeat this stitches in next stitch make one single crochet then on next two one two one two like this repeat this stitches and walk till your last stitch so round number three is done and we have 18 stitches now from round number four to eleven so total each rounds we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so like this make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number four to round number 11 just fold this two parts like this do not fill the gap with the fiber now we are going to work on these stitches from both the side so take the first stitch to the right side then take the next stitch to the left side and here make one single crochet then on next So like this make one one single crochet and work till your last stitch Now just repeat these stitches from round number 1 to round number 12 and make one more part like this. Now we are going to make the wings for the back. So here I made two small wings and one center biggest wing. So I'm first we are going to make this big one. So here I am going to use my second color which is orange. So with that thread make a ring. And into that ring make 6 single crochets. So 6 single crochets now work in next 2 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet
after two single crochet work in next stitch and make two single crochets so just repeat this stitches one more time in next two stitch make one one single crochet then on last stitch make two single crochet So round number two is done and we have eight stitches now in round number three in next three stitches make one one single crochet so after three single crochet work in next stitch and make two single crochet Now repeat this stitches one more time in next three stitch make one one single crochet then on last stitch make two single crochet so at the end of round number three we have ten stitches now from round number four and five we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch like this make one one single crochet in each stitches and complete round number four and five so complete round number five now just again we are going to work on these stitches from both the side so take your hook in the first stitch to the right side and then first stitch to the left side and make one single crochet then work in next two stitches from both the side one single crochet so total four single crochet now in same space make one slip stitch now just pull this thread and cut with some margin so we meet the center wing now we are going to make two small wings and into that ring make six single crochets So six single crochets now from round number two to three we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch So like this make one one single crochet complete round number two and three so three rounds just pull this thread and cut with some margin now just repeat from round number one two three and make one more small wing now we are going to make this propeller with white color so take your white color thread and make a ring in this ring we are going to make five single crochets round one is done and we have five stitches now in round number two top of each stitch we are going to make two two single crochets So two single crochet like this work in remaining stitches so at the end of round number two you will have 10 stitches 
so 10 single crochets now from round number 3 to 6 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so total four rounds with one one single crochet so at the end of round number 6 you will have 10 stitches So round number 6 is done. Now in round number 7 we are going to make 1-1 one, one decrease. So at the end of round number 7 you will have 5 stitches. So to do the decrease take the front loop of next to stitch. Grab and pull the thread from first to loop then next to loop. So like this work in remaining stitches and complete round number 7. So we have 5 stitches now from round number 8 and 9 we are going to make 1 1 single crochet top of each stitch so at the end of round number 9 you will have 5 stitches So round number 9 is done. Now in round number 10, we are going to make 2 2 single crochet top of each stitch. So at the end of round number 10, you will have 10 stitches. Now we have 10 stitches. Now from round number 11 to 14 we are going to make 1 1 single crochet top of each stitch. So at the end of so total 4 rounds with 1 1 single crochet. So at the end of round number 14 you will have 10 stitches. So round number 14 is done and we have 10 stitches now in round number 15 we are going to make 1 1 decrease so at the end of round number 15 you will have 5 stitches
now take this thread and unread it and now we have five stitches so work on the front work in front loop of next five stitch and take the needle to the front loop of first stitch pull the needle and thread so like this work in next four stitches work in front loop and pull this needle and thread to close this gap So we made this propeller now uh, you need to make a ring and on that ring make eight single crochets to make the window So like this repeat this stitches make a ring and make on that ring make eight single crochet stitches and make total four circles once you are done with all the body parts just arrange them like this propeller at the center side wings to the side four windows and two small wings to the end and this central wing and then stitch these parts to the body so I have stitched all the parts and this is done. I hope you have learned from this video. If you have any questions or query, please do let me know in comment section. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.